Snares. All right, the snares are off on this. No, they're not. They were just covered. Okay, now, these snares are vibrating, and that's what's making that snarey sound. If I take the snares off, different sound. With the snares on, I might not want all that snare sound. Now, if you mic this drum on the top and on the bottom to get the snare drum sound, you have to put the mic on the bottom out of phase because when I hit the drum here, it's pushing the head down. And the microphone that's here is miking the negative, the down, not the this way, the that way. This is pushing the head on the bottom out against the microphone, so the mic on the bottom is miking the positive way. So you have to put them out of phase. I've taken a piece of tape, which they have on this drum. And sometimes, too much snare sound. And also, hear that ring? All right, well, loosen the snares, and then let the snares drop, then take it with the sticky part down, Slide it in there so that it just lays on top of the snares. Oh, let's see what I'm doing. Okay, boom. All right, so just lay it on top of the snares. You see how I did it? The sticky part is on the snares. Then, when I put the snares on again, change the snares. You hear that? Tighter. It's a tighter sound. And if I wanted to, I could take and just put it half there. A little more snare. So you can adjust how much snare you're getting without dealing with turning them on or off. You know what I mean? You like that? You're going to learn something, but you've got to stop leaving to go smoke cigarettes. You know what I mean? My, uh, two hours. Give me two hours. Try not to do the leave to smoke the whatever. Now you're going to deal with this drum and the other drums to get the sound that you're looking for. Look at this. It's a little bit better, but there's another pitch in there. A little bit better. You know, depending on what you're looking for. And then your, your floor time the same way. So you've got to get the sound to come out of these drums. And then the person that's going to play the drums has got to play them. You don't put somebody out there to get a drum sound that's not going to be the person playing them, because one drummer will play them and they'll sound like one thing, another drummer will play them and they'll sound like something else. Because it's all how hard they're hitting it, what their technique is, what the whole deal is. And here there was a sound. Hear it? Gone? So find out that overtone that you don't want and lose it. 